Welcome everybody to my channel. My name is Rainer and this is Rainier Books. Today is Monday, May the 10th of 2021 and it's time for another weekly wrap-up. Week 18 is over. Lies behind us. No, 17? And a new week is about to start. Um, so let me tell you about what I was reading last week and what I will be reading during the course of the next week. Well, folks, I don't know if you understand me, but I am right here now at Schistermessen in the north of Stockholm. Uh, Schistermessen has become the greatest vaccination center for against COVID-19 in Sweden. And behind me, you can see the queue of people who are going in there to get the either the AstraZeneca or the Pfizer-BioNTech if they are younger than 65. That's what I got about 20 minutes ago. So I got my first dose today and... Uh, feels good but we still have the highest um, spread of the virus in the whole of Europe only Cyprus has a little bit more so we still have to be super careful but now I'm on my way home and see you tomorrow bye what was really weird and what's really a problem is that Shista the area where I'm get vaccinated got vaccinated a couple, a half an hour ago is an area where I think 80% of the population if not more are migrants from African countries, from Middle Eastern countries, from Asian countries. But if you go to the vaccination place, you know, which is right in the middle of this uh, place, you only see Europeans, Caucasians, mostly Swedes, I guess. And that's what's, that's also something that I read this morning in the paper that it's a huge problem of uh, to really reach, oh shit, to really reach the people. Um, there's a bus behind me, you should never walk on the street, yeah. <laughs> Just got vaccinated to be run over by a bus, you know. Apparently this has been a problem to reach out to people with uh, a migration background to, to get them to come to the vaccination to book times. And this is also why this pandemic has hit primarily socio-economic um, groups and classes that are below average, below average incomes, low incomes, people with, uh, who live very often in larger families and smaller apartments. And of course, yeah, people from other parts of the world who are suffering from these conditions and who have the problem of um, coping with that. So now I'm approaching uh, the uh, wonderful commuter train station of Helena Lund here in the north of Stockholm heading south and, and I see you soon. It's chilly outside but not that chilly as it was the last day so it's getting a little bit warmer and the warm, warmer degrees are coming from Southern Europe and Central Europe up to us here in the north. I uh, finished one book last week and that was Sankt Irgendwas by Tamara Bach. That's a German book written in German and published in 2020. Tamara is actually nominated for this book for the German Young Adult Literary Award of 2021 and very deservedly so. This is about a class trip in uh, 10th grade. They are going Somewhere there's a rumor because uh, the 10B class 10B has come back from uh, a class trip and something has happened because the parents are called to the school, the students are called to the school, the headmaster is around and something has happened on that trip and nobody really knows why. There are a lot of rumors going on in the school and well, how to find out we have the fortune to have finding a protocol that the students of class 10b have done during their trip to Sankt Irgendwas, which means saint somewhere and or so, somewhat. So step by step we 
learn what has happened on that trip. And Tamara is, a, is an old uh, acquaintance of mine. Actually, I'm going to meet her on, an, on a Zoom talk on Wednesday this week. I'm very happy about it. She's going to read from her book. She's going to answer some questions that I put to her in that um, talk that we have on Wednesday, which is not being recorded. So I will not be able to upload it, but it's in my ordinary job that I'm doing this. So... This is a book with very easy language, with not very easy language, but with easy and um, colloquial language. And Tamara is the master of telling stories that are really coming from um, everyday life of young people, of young adults. And once again, she has managed to sort of catch, to sort of catch the feelings, the emotions, and the world and fantasies and fears and hopes of young adults. That's her great um, ability and she has done it again. She's nominated for the Deutsche Jugendbuchpreis and I hope that she gets it. In the end, there's a very interesting twist that explains everything that has happened and why 10B has to meet the parents, the headmaster and so on. I'm not going to tell you that, but this is a book. If you can read and speak German that I really would recommend you to read if you like good young adult literature that is not a serial, not a trilogy, not a fantasy. It's from real life with real characters, with real people, and it has a beautiful ending, I think. I loved the ending, which I'm not going to tell you, of course. That would be a super duper spoiler. The post-Soviet book club is starting, and it has started not very beautifully, because I wanted to build up the set up a Discord server, but I realized that it's pretty complicated, it takes a lot of effort, takes a lot of reading manuals, watching manuals, and I don't have the time right now to do this. So I simply put up a Facebook group. So if any one of you wants to read Untraceable by Sergei Lebedev with me and join the post-Soviet book club, which is going to be one of the most exciting book clubs ever on this um, medium, YouTube, then please write me a note and I can invite you to the Facebook group. Um, please write me an instant message, a direct and private message on um, Facebook. You can uh, send me a Voxer. You can send me a direct message on Instagram so that I can link you to the, send you an invite to the Facebook group, the post-Soviet book club, where we read Sergei Lebedev's novel Untraceable in the next week and throughout the month of May. This was everything that I had to tell you today in week number... 17. A lot of things are happening in the world. I will come back to that on next Sunday. Um, and um, I'm watching a lot of stuff also on Netflix and on Prime. So a couple of good series that I recommend to you next Sunday. So stay tuned to this channel. Be safe, wear a mask and bye-bye.